Hello happy people, tell me how you doing? This uh, is a short little video that I call Antidote uh, that I will... Uh, um, I'm making now just to make a little um, teaser or what to call it here about something. Look at this uh, workspace here. Um, I'm, uh, I'm using... Um, i3 FIRA layout, so this is um, uh, all, all containers are tabbed and, and so on. But if we look here, what we have on the screen, we have uh, two terminals, uh, URXVT instances here. Uh, one of them is displaying pipes, the other one is displaying HTOP. Then we have this uh, big uh, window here that is Sublime, and this is um, mm, Thunar, the file manager. Um, and as you can see, uh, all all three applications uses different color themes so it looks really broken and then the polybar has another theme and you can see the i3 decorations have yet uh, also have uh, different colors and all of these three uh, uh, visible programs here I say three even though it's four but the two of them are, are the same program it's your XVT both of them so these three different programs, uh, they use different uh, uh, theme engines or, or how to s call it, like uh, URXVT, the terminal uses X resources, Thunar uses GTK, and Sublime uses its own UI uh, theming engine, but it also have, uh, it's not visible now, but this is actually QT, these menu elements and these uh, kinds of, well, it is basically only the menu here that is uh, QT in, in, in Sublime. And then Polybar, that's another story, and i3, that's its own thing. But the Polybar and i3 gets its colors if you, if you want to, it, it uses um, X resources. And then we have more programs like, for example, Rofi here which uh, right now it, it fits at least a bar here, but whatever. What I want to show you, and as you remembered, I called the video antidote, and it's the antidote to the poison that is colors, because colors, it's a jungle, it's hard to, to get a consistent look on everything. So that is why uh, I, I have gotten inspired by, by the videos I have made uh, before here in the poison series, you know, about colors and stuff. I, I I have made like a little script for, for Rofi and such and, and that got me thinking uh, it, it, there have to be a better way to do this to, to organize and manage uh, color themes and, and the colors and all the files and such and I think I have the antidote now. I call it Mondo. Let's make a lolbam for it. Mondo. Yeah. And Mondo is a little script, uh, well it's not that little, but it's just uh, like most of my scripts, it's a single, we could actually do this, I open a terminal here and then we can do a mondo-h, like most of my scripts you can run it with the h flag to get a description of what it does, and as you can see there are qu quite a lot of um, documentation already written here, it's not complete yet, but I will finish it tonight I think, and and upload everything to, to GitHub so you can try this out. But let's um, um, let's uh, show you exactly what this does. If I run it, uh, you can run Mondo with the L option uh, to list different things. For example, I can list uh, the themes that I that I currently have, my current uh, Mondo themes. We will look into this closer because this is how I. Th how I'm thinking. I'm, now I'm just going to show you really quick what this uh, uh, does and, and then there will be probably three or maybe even four videos about how to use Mondo and how to set it up. It's not that uh, complicated but I just want to make some videos uh, show you some use cases even if um, uh, whatever. That's, that's what I'm going to do, but this video will just be a quick video to see the possibilities of it and really quick how it works. So these are some themes I have, and if I want to apply one of these th themes, for example Dracula, which is the top one there, I run Mondo with the A uh, option, which is uh, 
apply and then apply Dracula theme. You see? It updates uh, URXVT, it updates um, the GTK, it updates uh, Sublime. It even updates the QT theme here now to have the Dracula colors. Or it's some variation of the Dracula colors. It doesn't update the uh, uh, i3 here now because I have commented that out because I have some problems updating i, uh, i3's uh, windows when I'm using i3 Fira. I am close to making a good script that takes care of this because I don't know exactly what the problem is but it's something with tabbed containers, tabs and marks uh, in an advanced way that I use them here. It messes up the whole layout when I when I use the i3 restart command. So I have written a, a, my own restart script here, but it's not perfect yet. So so hopefully uh, I have a, I'm I'm satisfied with this in 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 a week or something. I haven't been working that hard with it lately. I've been focusing on Mondo itself here. Uh, maybe we should try some other theme just so you can see here. Uh, my new favorite theme is this, Nike's Light. I, I, uh, I have based it on one of, of the color themes that were submitted to uh, Unix Porn's um, color theme competition that they had um, like a year ago or something. There are some good themes in that one, some good color schemes. So, so if I apply this, it's a really nice uh, light theme. I really really like this, it has a really nice uh, 90s vibe to it and this is actually the colors uh, that I have in i3, now you can see they, they fit. Um, one more, Solarized maybe, the classic Solarized theme, everybody, well, everybody doesn't like it, but some love it, some hate it. I am... Uh, one of the fans of the Solarize theme. I think it's excellent. But right now, this is my new favorite Nike's uh, light here. It's so good. Solarize dark. Mm, Solarize light. And of course, GTK works too. And some of these themes uh, changes uh, the, the icons, you can set it to do that. We can look really quickly uh, how, how these Mondo files look like, but I will not go into any details about how it works. But uh, Mondo itself, it's just uh, one uh, bash script, it uses a lot of AWK to generate the themes and stuff, because it both applies and generates these themes. And everything uh, is based on these theme files, which is, uh, <clears throat> they are actual uh, X resources files. They are in X resource format and, and these files will actually be included in X resources itself when they are applied and, and, and stuff. And as you can see here, you can both uh, set colors and this is, these, this part, uh, uh, these color definition, these variables, they are mandatory. So you have to define all these, uh, I think it's 18 variables. And there are some rules to it, but it's very easy and very logical. And, and you can actu actually use uh, uh, an existing X resources color uh, file that looks something like, we can look at this really quick here. This is the active Mondo theme that we use right now. I believe it's Solarize Light. But you know, if you have a theme file that, that looks something like this, an X resources file, then you can create a new Mondo theme based on that uh, uh, file and it will automatically apply those colors to, to um, the theme. And that's how I have created most of my themes here. I have just converted old X resources files. But as you can see, you can also set special resources that uh, are called Mondo. And these resources, they can be used later in a template file. And here we can also see that I have set uh, a cursor theme, an icon theme and the GTK theme, which uh, happens to be 
of the same name as, as this. You can also set fonts and you, you, you could create the, as I said, these are the only mandatory uh, 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 content of the theme file. The rest can be customized any way you want. You can create your own uh, Mondo um, resources and you can do whatever you want basically. And then when you apply a theme it generates this uh, because the theme files themselves they they end here as you can see but uh, then it depends some extra resources and uh, auto generates these uh, x resources colors and then it actually uh, let's see if i have my x resources here somewhere so we can look at it maybe this doesn't work no no this is how it looks like it will aut automatically append this uh, line to your x resources to include this mondo theme file and if it doesn't exist and then it will basically not um, uh, modify your x resource file anymore uh, and it will change this file instead depending on which uh, theme you apply okay but really quick here we will look into how the templates look like because i call them generators uh, the name also Mondo, uh, I, I just took it from the good uh, 90s, early 2000 uh, drug rock band, the Mondo Generator. So inside the Mondo folder there will be a, a, a directory called Generator which, which contains the different generators. Because I, I've chosen to call them generators and not templates because there are more files than just a generator. So let's just look at one here uh, randomly. Uh, this row theme. You can see here each theme. When when I generate a theme with the generator, it will create a, a, a file for each theme here, which it it has done. But e every generator that gets created uh, from the command line with Mondo generate, you can do it other, uh, in other ways. But if you do it from the command line with the Mondo command then it will create a, f a, a directory inside generator here with these four files and this mondo template this is how the template files looks like and you can see here double parentheses uh, and within them you you write the name of uh, one uh, one of these so colors dot act if you write it like this in the template without the mondo uh, name as the first resource you don't have to put that uh, then this will get translated so if we if, if we would look here in solarize light for example this is how the generated uh, file from the template will look like and there you can see it's the same blue as we have in in the mondo theme here uh, the blue color which are is there it is. Mm. Yeah, and you can also uh, write like here we have a, we we call these resources the GUI font face and the GUI font size, and that will be translated like this. And as you can see, it it uh, retains the 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 quotes and the the special symbols the semicolons everything the even the intendation and everything will be uh, exactly like it look in the templates so it's very easy to create uh, template files like this and some files like for example this gtk2 here uh, this template it's uh, i think you can recognize this file from your home folder it's auto generated by alex appearance normally but here we only uh, use the uh, template to, to, to um, insert the theme name and the icon name, icon theme and the cursor theme and uh, fonts name and size like this. So you can use it in, in many different ways. And uh, when you have created a, a, a generator, you just run Mondo with the G flag and then the theme name and then it will generate that theme and all its uh, templates. And you can even make advanced things like generate a GTK theme and stuff, but that's that's like outside of Mondo. But you can you can because this is uh, really quickly here. 
Another file that's included in each generator is, is a file called Mondo Generate, which is a script file. It's a bash script by default, but it doesn't have to be. If you want to, you can write the Python or Perl or, or whatever, as long as it's the right shebang in it. And that will be, get executed every time the, the theme is generated. And here we can see I have added some special things. Uh, this will actually sudo make install uh, a, a GTK theme from from um, yeah I found this on GitHub. I will make a video especially about how to generate these GTK themes. So you can have uh, special um, scripts that only executes for certain generators and stuff, and it, so it's really easy to have a good overlook of, of what's going on. And then there are also some special uh, files in, in the base uh, Mondo folder here. For example, this uh, post apply, that's also a script. Doesn't have to be a bash, it could be Python or something else. But this is basically a script that gets executed every time uh, or after you have applied a theme. So first it applies each generator and then it runs this script. And here you can see this is what reloads your XVT. Uh, it uses a plugin to do that and then I run a script that uh, reloads GTK and this uh, reloads poly Polybar and here this uh, would restart i3. So you can really customize it uh, in many different ways depending on, on your needs and the applications and stuff that you will use it for. So uh, I hope that this have got uh, got you a bit interested and that you will look at the the coming vid videos here in this mondo series where i uh, walk you through how to set it up and uh, some examples on how it could be used but uh, it's very flexible and and you can use it in in many different way different ways and customize it exactly for how you would like it so let's let's load one last theme and then uh, I will end this video. Uh, goo box, goo box, everybody likes the goo box, everybody likes the goo box dark. Okay. I say thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that you will uh, keep watching these videos uh, about um, about Mondo. I'm very happy with the results of it, and I hope that it will be uh, that many people will find it useful because it is a really, really nice little uh, way to organize your themes. So I see you in the upcoming videos. Uh, I am Budrich. You are a great person and I like you very much. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.